Hey guys, it's Full Cards here, live and direct from Noisy, Brooklyn, New York. And in front of me, I have five random packs of the 2018-19 OPG Hobby. So these are about three bucks a uh, pop. I thought I'd open a couple more of these. So in theory, what can we get? Uh, you can see your odds here, typically on the back, if you uh, if you can square in on that. Uh, you should potentially get a gold glossy parallel or eight silver border parallels if you open up an entire hobby box. Um, you should get retro black borders, mini inserts, OPG playing cards. Uh, they're short print playing cards, which are the aces, which are one of 120 packs. And also there are high series and retro cards, marquee rookies, season highlights, uh, league leaders, etc. So those are the types of things we would theoretically uh, be hoping for, wishing for, and potentially getting. Usually you get a lot of inserts in these bad guys, bad boys, so uh, let's see whether we're for fortunate or unfortunate. I see something black, so that's pretty good. Usually those are uh, rare and numbered cards. So uh, you see here our typical cardboardy stuff, and then we do have a League Leaders, and it's a Connor Hellebuck. I've actually gotten this card before. Uh, and it is, he was the wins leader along with Vasilevsky. Uh, he had a great playoff run as well. We have a Shane Gossa Spear, which would happen to be a retro. And then here we have a Roman Yossi. A Roman Yossi, and this would be a black retro card mimicking the 1967-68 uh, tops. And you see it's number to 84 of 100. So that's kind of nice to get a blackboard or numbered card. That's a pretty good pull right there. Uh, and then a couple more base, including Nico Heischer. So we've already gotten some pretty decent cards here. The league leader would be a high numbered card. So that would be a short print card. So we have, in fact, gotten three inserts. Uh, of course, it's 10 cards per pack. So there's a lot of bank for a buck in each pack. Uh, but you have to get lucky to get, oh wow, is that another black border? Did I happen to get two black borders in a row? That is very rare to get, to have that happen. It's Adrian Ochara, Tarasenko. We have another marquee rookie here and it's of Michael Del Cole. Michael Del Cole. Interesting. So that's nice to get a rookie. And here we have a Mark Stahl retro card, who's been a very stable force on defense as well as a Joel Erickson Eck and another black border. So this is two numbered cards. I believe you get two per hobby box and I seem to have spiked both of them. So that's kind of cool. So that's numbered 18 of 100. So that's our second black border card. And here we have a silver card as well. And the silver card will be would be of Joel Erickson Eck. Nice, so some nice stuff thus far, fairly, fairly quickly in this break. Uh, three more packs. Let's see what else. Oh, is that another black border? It's been a black border frenzy here. So we have Verana, we have Gunsel, we have another rookie, and it's Thomas Hicka, who's actually a pretty, a pretty good rookie. That's nice to get the Thomas Hicka rookie card. We have a Rick Nash, which would be a silver bordered card, as well as a retro card of Anze Kopitar. And here's another black border uh, uh, retro, and it would be of Nick Letty. So that is our third black border. That is really rare to get three numbered cards when you just pull a bunch of packs randomly, uh, as well as a Josh Hosang, which second year card, Jamie Bennon, all-star of Braden Holpe. Two more packs left. Uh, all kinds of interesting things thus far, I must say. Uh, fairly uh, randomly, that's a lot of black borders for no apparent reason, but uh, I'll take it. So next, last two packs. Uh, ideally, I'd like to get a Scott Foster, wouldn't that be fun? Um, or a patch, which is unlikely. Oh my God, another black border card. What a black border frenzy. It's like a black border hot box I picked from. And so here we have a team checklist of our Jets, or Winnipeg Jets. And we can see the uh, Patrick Laine and Nikolai Ellers and Josh Morrissey and Truba, Paul Stashny, etc. As well as a Brandon Dubinsky black border. I can't believe four black borders. We're supposed to get two per hobby box. And this, I picked all these cards from a single hobby box. Oh, we also have a mini here. So then we have a Remy Ellie. 
whose rookie year was the prior year, I believe. And that would be a retro as, as well as the Carey Price Mini. So that's really nice. This may be a short print. Oh, whoa, it's numbered. Wow. That is really interesting and cool. Is it supposed to be autoed or something? It's just numbered, it's just hand numbered. I've never seen that before. How strange, hand numbered. I'm going to quickly take a gander at whether that is, oh, okay. So that's a black variation. It's supposed to be a black variation, number to 20, or back variation. It's a back variation. Crazy, this is a back variation, number to 27, 19 of 27. So this is a rare uh, hit. How cool is that? I've, I've never seen these before. So this is probably the first time they're doing that. I know that they certainly have blank backs and so on, but this would happen to be a mini um, short print. Really, really interesting. Number to only 27, and we happen to hit the carry price. I have no idea what this goes for, um, but I'm kind of psyched and stoked that we hit that. That is very cool. So I've heard about those. I didn't really know what they were. And, and lo and behold, they're numbered to 27. Uh, interesting. You always get interesting stuff within the... Uh, do we have another black one? I would be... To oh, this looks like a playing card. And a black one. Another black one. What an interesting... So this is like a black hot box. I didn't know there, there were such things, but apparently there are. So... And here we have a Victor Hedman, a Victor Hedman, as well as a Jacob Voracek. Huh. So this too, again, would be, those would be retros. And then we have an Arturi Lekkonen, Black Border Retro, as well as the Tennis Spades. Oh, P.K. Subban, I've gotten this before, actually, the P.K. Subban. So we have a P.K. Subban, which is kind of cool. It's my second P.K. Subban, if anybody wants a P.K. Subban. And that's basically it. So some interesting stuff here uh, in these $3 uh, rando packs that I got. Uh, I'll go through them fairly quickly here. Um, and we can also look at the back of these just to make sure we didn't get any blank backs because on occasion those two would be inserts, the old school blank backs. Uh, rarely, but on occasion. So these would be our base from these five random packs. We did get a whole host of retros. So the retros, as I said, harkening back to 1967-68. We got Voracek, Hedman, Remy Ailey, Shane Gossespierre, Mark Stahl, as well as Anze Kopitar. Okay. Then with regard to our high numbered cards, uh, we got a checklist of the Jets, as well as two rookies, Michael Del Cole, as well as Thomas Hicka and a Connor Hellebuck, uh, League Leaders. So checklist, League Leaders, and two of those rookie cards. Uh, we got only two of these silver uh, bordered ones, which are a little bit underwhelming, I think uh, a lot of people agree. Um, but I did get the Rick Nash as well as the Joel Erickson Eck. In terms of our playing card, we got one playing card and it was P.K. Subban. The only play cards I've gotten thus far have been all spades, which is sort of bizarre. Then we got these. So strangely, so I had five packs and I have five black borders. So obviously it was a black border hot box. I didn't know there was such a thing as a black border hot box, uh, but we got Le Lekkonen, Dubinsky, Nick Letty, Connor Murphy, and, and Roman Yossi. Uh, and all of these cards, by definition, would be numbered to 100. So these are all numbered cards. So we've gotten five numbered cards in this strange box. And then our hit of the, of the five packs uh, was this Carey Price short print manually numbered to, to uh, 27 because it is one of the uh, special variation Opichi backs. Uh, so this is a rare card, a rare hit. It's very, very interesting. So strangely, I opened five packs and I got six numbered cards. This is what's so interesting about OPG. People can sort of floss on about how disappointing they are in the product because it doesn't have your typical memorabilia cards, auto cards anymore, it doesn't have those case hits. But there's always all kinds of unique peculiarities um, and random strange occurrences with OPG, which is sort of the fun of it. Okay, guys, well, I happen to be Fulton Cars Live and Direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York.